Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So um, I got a new palette in and I thought I'd go ahead and do a couple of looks with it since it's really kind of intriguing me. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started. Started off with the Super Goop Face Glow or the Glow Oil with SPF 50. So it's a face glow oil, but it has an SPF, which is really good. And then um, went ahead and used the House Labs and SP House Labs, and it's in Fair Cool 50. Ha, there we go. Knew my. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's still pretty early in the morning for me here, but we're getting there. And then I did go ahead and use the Essence Pure Nude. Uh, this one is in Berry Cheeks. So this is what I have on as far as my blush today. It's one of the Essence Baked Blushes. And I did go ahead and use the Catrice uh, Supreme Rose Beam Highlighter as well. So uh, that's what I have on as far as my highlighter today. And then as far as the palette, I um, went ahead and ordered from Glamlight. And I waited till all three of the palettes came out um, so that I could go ahead and sort of find the one that I wanted. And I knew I didn't want the grayscale one, which I guess was Ghost Face. But the Friday the 13th looked really intriguing to me. So it's Camp Crystal Lake, and their packaging is really fun. It looks like an old um, VHS tape, and so, yeah, it's really fun packaging. That's kind of what it looks like on the inside. And then as far as the palette itself, no, I didn't just get the box. I got the palette, too. It says, Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake and it changes. It's one of the holographic ones that change back and forth. So yeah, not a fan of the movies. I didn't get it because of that, because I'm not a fan of horror movies, but um, some sci-fi you could say is are horror movies, but that, that's probably as far toward the horror genre genre as I go. So um, this is the palette and it actually ended up being darker than I thought that it was going to be. But for this uh, first look I went ahead and I started with the blues and I used uh, this one in the crease, this one on the outer corner. Then I actually went to this screen right here on the lid and used this uh, yeah, this uh, white silver shade as um, all over the entire lid as a topper. And so it's kind of fun the way that it turned out. It kind of turned into a teal and it took it a lot lighter than what it has or what it started out to be. And I think that was my first sort of gut instinct was it's going too dark. I need to lighten it up. So that's what happened with this first look, this way that it turned out. So, um, yeah, I think I'll be back with the next look and we'll do something different with a different color story and see what happens, okay? Be right back. <clears throat> Hi, it's Adrian, and so I'm back with look number two. And this one is from the Friday the 13th and the Crystal Lake palette. Uh, as far as what I did for brows, I used the Oma by Sharon C. and uh, their brow gel, and I think this one's in taupe. And then I did go ahead and use a combination of the Mile High and the Fan Fest. Oh, here. No. Yeah, I need to clean out this desktop. The Sky High by Maybelline and the Fan Fest by Benefit is what I have on as far as mascara. And then as far as concealer, I have the Wet n Wild Incognito here. And so that's what I have on um, for all of that. I did go ahead and go with a mainly green look. Um, so this look, I feel kind of got more into a grungy kind of feeling here. But to show you what I did, is I went ahead and I used uh, this screen in the crease and then I used this screen right above it. Um, I did go ahead and put this brown shimmer in the outer 
outer corner and then I came I used uh, this one on the lid and then this one on the inner corner and again the inner corner all the way up to the brow and so um, yeah this is the way that the look came out and it's very shimmery and um, it's it's really pretty I like it um, and it holds its own I don't think that you have a to have a whole bunch of liner because you have so much color coming out from uh, these darker colors that yeah I would I would be very happy not having any liner on um, this particular kind of a look and it is a really pretty dark green with a little bit of brown in there so yeah it's a fun look I think that it would go with um, yeah anything that went into like a hunter green or a forest green so um, it's really pretty I think I'll be back with one more look and I'll see you just in a few minutes for me and really soon for you Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm back with uh, the third look that I'm doing from the Friday the 13th, the Crystal Lake palette. And so this time I went ahead and I used some of the reds on there um, just to let you know. Again, the Incognito by Wet n Wild as far as the concealer. Um, I did go ahead and use the, uh, yeah. Berry Cheeks from Essence for the blush. And then the highlighter again is the Catrice Supreme Rose Beam. I did go ahead and use the Glowish Powder as a finishing powder in Fair. So, um, yeah, this is the way that the look went. And it kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting for it to go this berry. I was expecting for more of a red, red look. So, um, I did go ahead and use this one in the crease and then um, so the darker one in the crease then this one in the outer corner I uh, used the uh, pink over here for the lid and then the white as sort of an all over or um, yeah the shade as a sort of all over topper and as far as the way that the look came out it came out a lot more berry and so I was expecting more real red with this look but again um, at least the way that it took on my skin it went really berry and I think it's pretty it's almost pink actually to tell you the truth um, let's try this is the ninth inning by Trixie and see if spraying it will do thing here So, get that a second to go ahead and try down, and we'll see if that made any difference here. I think it took it a little lighter. <clears throat> so, uh, this is after it's been sprayed. And so, yeah, it, it took some of the topper down a little bit. But again, this went a lot more berry and pink than I thought it would go. And so it's it's pretty, but this palette isn't at all what I expected. And I'm going to need to go ahead and play with it more. Um, I knew that it was going to be a dark palette for me. And so, um, yeah, it definitely is a darker palette. And um, on camera, it actually comes off lighter than it does in real life so um, <clears throat> you can definitely get some grungy looks with these two rows right here um, as far as the red again it came off really berry and um, berry and pink and um, yeah it's a fun palette I'm gonna have to play with it some more but those are my first impressions and it's very much not what I'm used to seeing. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. Well, I'll play with it and see what I can come up with and get back to you on it. And, uh, yeah, that's the video. I hope that you have a great day and a great holiday season. Bye.